Hi everyone, welcome to my video on the Pinnacles track in the Coromandel, in Kauranga Valley. So it is 10 o'clock in the morning now, standing at the start of the Billy Goat track. So the plan for today is to head up the Tarawaide Dam track up to the dam, which has got quite a few stream crossings. There's one main crossing of the Kauranga River just behind me here, so yeah, doesn't look too bad, should be able to get across okay. And then from there we'll link up to the billy goat track and follow that up to the pinnacles hut go up to the pinnacles for a look back down to the hut and then we'll probably head back down the web creek track which comes out yeah at the pinnacles car park about 300 meters up the road so we'll get going it should be probably about four or five hours as the dock time up to the hut but yeah i'd say it'll be a bit quicker than that It's past 11 now, just made it up to the Billy Goat Basin campsite on the Billy Goat track. So this campsite's got five kind of platforms, a couple of picnic tables, toilet there, there's no one here. It's got a stream just down there, so yeah, you can get water. So yeah, nice little spot. So I decided to come up the uh, ridge track instead of the Tarawaide Dam track which was, yeah, just to avoid a few river crossings, which I think was a better idea. So, yeah, came up the ridge and then joined up with the Billy Goat Link Track, which comes out here. So, it's been an hour and a half from the car park and climbed 450 metres. And it's meant to be another two and a half hours from here to the Pinnacles Hut.
10 past 2 now, I'm just standing at the Dancing Camp Dam which is just below the Pinnacles Hut. So that's the dam behind me there. This is the campsite, got four platforms, a little bit separated so yeah it's quite a nice little campsite right next to the stream. So yeah the Pinnacles Hut is just about 5-10 minutes up the track. I've actually just come down from the Pinnacles themselves so got to the hut at uh, just after 1 I think. And then I went up to the Pinnacles and back, took 20 minutes to get up there and yeah about 20 minutes down again. It was very windy up there, not a whole lot of a view, just a bit misty and yeah and that's some pretty extreme wind. I was kind of hanging on up there like yeah I've seen wind but that was a lot. A few people warned me on the way up but yeah they were right. So anyway made it down, it's fine down here so I'm going to start heading down soon. It's meant to be about three hours down the Webb Creek track, but I think it'll be a lot quicker than that. So it's 4 o'clock now, just walking down Karonga Valley Road back to the car. So finished the Webb Creek track, came out at the Karonga Valley Road end, and now it's a 300 metre walk back down to where the car's parked at the Billy Goat track. So it's been a pretty good day, it's just been drizzling a tiny bit at the end, but not enough really to put a raincoat on, so that's good. So walked a total of 19 and a half kilometres, climbed 1300 metres, and it's taken just under six hours to do the full loop. So yeah, it was quite a good track. So we went up the Tarawaito Dam up to the Billy Goat Basin campsite, and then up to the Pinnacles Hut, and up to the Pinnacles and back, and then down the main Pinnacles track, which is the Webb Creek track, down to the road end. So that's the main track is where most people come into the Pinnacles, up and back Webb Creek, so this way is Slightly longer, but a little bit more scenic than going up and back the same way. So, yeah, it's a good track. So, thanks for watching this video. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I've just finished walking the Tiaroa Trail, so I'll link the playlist at the end of this video. So, yeah, go and check that out. I'll see you next time.